The state historical commission this week is uncovering the probable long lost grave of a colorful Texas Ranger, a ranger who was killed when Texas was still a republic. Researchers at the site are jubilant over the discovery, but as Jim Swift tells us, only on KXAN Austin News, there is a dark shadow looming over the dig. On a remote spot of land northeast of Temple in Falls County, Texas, there is a 160-year-old cemetery established by slaves. State historians found the graveyard while surveying the site of an old colonial capital. They also discovered an old story handed down by slaves and later by their black freedmen descendants. In 1849, the slaves were told there already was a grave here, and that grave is of James Coriel. The story goes that when Texas Ranger James Coriel's sandy grave caved in some years later, the slaves covered it up with stones from a nearby creek. A Texas Historical Commission crew cleaning the overgrown cemetery for a protective fence stumbled across what are believed to be those very stones. Carefully following prescribed procedures, archaeologists removed the stones and started digging. We cannot for, for sure say this is the grave of James Coriel. The, all of the circumstantial evidence certainly leads us to believe it's the case. What you have here is a portion of the skull. As the digging continued, the first sure discovery was a back. collapsed skull. Then, during our visit to the site, crews uncovered a leg bone. Next came a button. Everything pointed to a Texas Ranger killed by Indians while he and some companions were slurping honey from a bee tree they had robbed. Most people just don't realize what, what uh, a wealth of information there is from the skeleton. Confirmation will require sophisticated DNA analysis, and for that, the Historical Commission is tapping the skills of experts at the Smithsonian Institution in Washington. People like Doug Owsley, who also helped identify the remains of those killed in the 1993 fire that ended a long standoff between the Branch Davidian sect and the FBI. They have four teeth. From the, just those four teeth alone, you can look at them, you can get some indication as to the age of the person, the slight wear that you see. And so the skeletal remains of a suspected early and important Texas Ranger rest in the ground awaiting the news concerning their uncertain future. But that future is not the only thing uncertain around here these days. The Texas Historical Commission itself may be in serious jeopardy. Let's suspend non-mission critical entities like the Historical Commission or the Commission on the Arts until the economy improves. Governor Perry has a job to do. He's, he's the leader of Texas. It's a monumental job. We, as commissioners of an agency, we have a duty, too. We have to share our story with the legislature and the people of Texas. Meanwhile, the digging continues in James Coriel's suspected grave. His story telling our history. Jim Swift, KXAN, Austin News.